Hello and welcome to today's ARC tutorial. In focus, today I will be telling you everything you need to know about the Equus and hopefully you will learn something new about this ARC creature. The Equus or horse is a large sized herbivore mammal found in just about every ARC map and while it can be a very helpful early game tame, it can still be very useful throughout. The Equus is very skittish and it can be observed constantly running for its life due to the fact that in most cases where you find the Equus you will always find some very dangerous predators. Or I guess I shouldn't say always, but most of the time. This could be a problem if you're trying to tame it, as you yourself can end up in one of those predators bellies. But don't let that deter you, because as long as you take some precautions, taming these creatures can be a cinch. First, I suggest you do the level up run, which only takes about 10 to 15 minutes and takes your levels up to the 70s, depending on what type of server you go into. I will leave a link to that video on the description below and put a link to it on the upper right hand corner in case you want to give that a try. One thing you need to remember is that you need to be at the very least a level 10 to be able to tame the Equus, so keep that in mind. So now we're ready to go get us ourselves an Equus. What is its favorite food? The Equus really enjoys simple kibble, but if you're just starting out, it's best to use rock carrots, which is its second favorite food and is readily available in the highlands of Ragnarok at different areas. It's also close to 50-50 on Valgero. It can be tamed with any type of veggies and berries, but with anything besides kibble and or rock carrot, it would take much longer to tame and you would lose valuable bonus taming levels. So you collected plenty of rock carrots, now what? We need to make sure that there are no dangerous predators anywhere close. If you do find something dangerous, you might want to consider killing it with the help of other medium sized dinos such as the trike. Once all predators are taken care of, you are ready to tame. There are several ways to tame these guys, but I will start with my preferred way first, and that's just going up to it. I find that being in first person is much easier to get on the Equus because it's easier to get the prompt to feed it. Where usually in third person you have to get much closer and by then it's too late and the Equus runs away. If for some reason you spook the horse, you simply need to give it a little time and a little room to run and chill out. And then you can try again. As you can see, you don't need to use Gilly or be super sneaky or anything like that. But it is better to come up behind it so it won't get spooked right away. It will start to run aimlessly, but if you are lucky, it will hit the side of a cliff or a large boulder and hopefully it will get stuck there, which will make taming it a lot easier. Once it starts to buck, it's time to hand feed it again. To feed it, all you have to do is press the same button you use to harvest berries, which on PC it's the E the triangle on PlayStation and the Y on Xbox. And then there's also the possibility that if you're close to water, it may run into water. If that happens, then you basically lost that tame because it's just gonna, instead of bucking, it's just gonna take you right off the horse and there's no way to tame it. If you don't want to take any chances and don't want to run into any predators, then you may consider taming it in an enclosure. I found that the best way to trap these guys is by hitting it with a bola and then quickly put large storage boxes around it. Why large storage boxes you may ask? Well, they are quick to put down and the horse can't go over them. Another perk about using large storage boxes is that you can place them anywhere, which can be very useful in PBE where you have to worry about other people's foundations being too close. And also making storage boxes are cheap to craft. Once you put the boxes around it, give it a little room to breathe because if you don't, it will get spooked and then good luck waiting for it to chill. Unless you let it out and then start the process all over again once it does chill. So just hang back until the bola releases it and then try to go behind it and start the taming process. Other ways that you can tame it 
you can use other dinos to pick it up and put it into the enclosure whether that be your base or just something little like I have here and do the same as we did before but most people won't bother with the third option because if you already have an RG at hand then usually you won't bother getting an Equus unless you understand its usefulness that is speaking of usefulness why do I find the Equus so useful? well for starters it's great for beginners due to its speed decent health and slow stamina drain it can also outrun most dinos as it is but if you put some extra levels on stamina and speed it will be that much better another great thing about the Equus is that it has weight reduction on some very much needed but heavy resources such as stone which is reduced by 50% cactus sap and sand are reduced by a whopping 80% which is very significant here is a list of other resources affected by the weight reduction but some of these are a bit on the lighter side but wait it gets better once you reach level 20 you can unlock the equus saddle and craft it in the smithy an equus with a saddle gives you the ability to use the equus as a mortar and pestle and with the ability to harvest a pretty good amount of berries especially the oh so important narco berries all you need to do is add some spoiled meat in its inventory and start making some narcotics. And all the while you and your team will be collecting some precious experience points to get you leveled up a little bit quicker. I mentioned harvesting of berries but it can also harvest thatch and some wood as well. Is the Equus starting to look a little bit more attractive to you? Hmm well get ready because there is more. Once you equip the saddle you can craft the lasso which is super useful let me demonstrate you can go up to any smaller size dino and as a beginner you're probably thinking oh man what I would do for a dino that flies at which point the Equus would tell you to hold its beer if it could speak because with an Equus that is a piece of cake all you need to do is find yourself a pretty good level pteranodon and wait until it lands or if you're good with a bola you can bring it down that way as well but once it lands just use your lasso and whoa Toro now that it's captured all you have to do is run back to your base or somewhere where it's safe once you get to your destination you can release it and quickly use a bola on it walk up to it and start kicking it and even a high level pteranodon like this one will go down in as slow as five kicks in the face it's surprising how little health the Pteranodon actually lost. But what can I say? The Equus is the bomb. At this point, it would be nice to get some mutton. So you can simply go up to one of these many Ovis and you can just kill it. But I prefer to knock it out first, so I won't have to run after it and then kill it. Since I don't have any tools handy at the moment, I will simply use my fist. But remember, it hurts me more than it hurts the sheep. Uh, cause you know, it's dead. I bet there are some of you more experienced ARC players out there thinking, I don't need no stinking Pteranodon. I need something bigger like the Quetz. Well, if that's the case, all you need to do is carry one of these Equus in a cryopod. When you knock out a Quetz, you may think, whoa, it's a bit dangerous here. I wish I had landed a bit more that way. Well, with an Equus, it's no problem because you can just grab it and boom here you go congratulations you are well on your way to being a pro so there you have it guys now that you know all this information I bet you're probably gonna be running out there and getting you a necklace aren't you and that's good if you found this video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe so that way you won't miss any future art tutorials Thank you for your time and I'll see you next time.